Welcome back to my channel. So what I've got for you today is a subscriber inspired project. I can't remember who it actually was, but one of you mentioned about putting loads of different bits of resin in a, like in cubes and then putting all those cubes into another pot and make something from that. I thought actually that was a quite a cool idea. So what I got is I got myself some of these. These are just ice cube trays, uh, round ones. So what I thought I'm gonna do today is basically fill all of these up with resin and mix up loads of different colors. And then what we would then do is put them into another pot and then see if we can make something really funky, 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 funky. Am I dreaming? No. Where am I? And you know how we like funky things, right? Thanks to whoever it was to, that mentioned uh, doing this, I do take all your comments on board, and, th and they obviously really do help me come up with these projects. So whoever you are, thanks. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's get these filled up with resin and see what we can make from it. Okay, so we've got all the resin colours in here now. It was a little bit fiddly. Um, probably sh maybe should have mixed them up in cups before and then pulled them in, but there we go. So I've got a mixed bag of the Illumilite stuff, uh, which is the Illumilite kind of dye. And also use some of the powder dye that I got from Resin for Art as well. Uh, they do the powders as well as the resin. So they've got all sorts of different colours in there and it does create a different colour. So if you're looking for something different, this is more of like a clear kind of like colour. And these are obviously more sort of glitter inside them and they, they do present a different colour. So they should be quite cool. So we've done two lots. So I think we may need to do maybe another two lots, but I don't know yet. But I've only got two trays. So we'll put these in the pressure pot and leave them overnight and then bring them out and see what we've got. And then if we need to make another batch, we'll do another batch. So there are our little resin kind of balls or well, they're not balls, they're kind of half balls, but um, what are they called? So we've got greens, we've got blues, uh, we've got reds, yellows, whites, purples, blacks, but I think we need some more. So I'm going to knock up some more, stick them into here and leave them to set overnight and come back when we're done with another set. So 
I've done these slightly different and see how these turn out. So I've just literally put a little drop, a little swirl of uh, dye in this resin. And as you can see, that will just turn out a little bit more funky. Magnum. So now we're just going to get this on the lathe and just, I don't know, see what we can make. Wow, this certainly makes a lot of mess. Look at it. <laughs> huh? It looks pretty cool, actually. Um, so, this is this piece so far. I'm not really too sure what it is, uh, as always, but I'm just going with it. So, um, I suppose I'm going to, I'm kind of thinking it was going to be some kind of a vase. I think it still should be a vase rather than it being an ornamental piece. I think I'm going to drill it out here and then we can sort of like hollow it out as much as we can so we can sort of get a bit more of an effect in here if that works out okay. Um, I probably should have done that first if I'm honest, hollow that out because it's this is obviously going to get weaker and weaker the more I get 
down here and that could potentially snap. Let's hope it doesn't do that and break, but if it does then, well, that will be it. But um, it's looking kind of cool. I like the idea of it. So I've got to finish off all these areas yet. I'm not sure whether to, well, I'll have to sort of try to do something with that in a minute. But before I go any further down on that, I'm going to go and hollow this out. So uh, let's do that. Okay, so I've managed to hollow out most of it in there. Um, if you can see that in there, I don't know if you can see. You'll be able to see it a bit better when I kind of shine this up a bit, but got quite a bit in there out, so that's quite cool. Um, and this was quite handy actually, this little Easy Wood Tools uh, kind of carbide tip. That was, that was quite useful really, because it's quite small. Um, but then I did use the normal, the big one as well, and that's you know equally as good. But um, but uh, obviously using the smaller one is is also quite handy. So thanks, Easy Wood. All right, so let's uh, carry on and see what we're going to do with this now. So it's kind of a little vase thing, isn't it? <laughs> but um, there we go. Let's crack on. Okay, so I've just finished up with some micro mesh on this um, and um, it's come up pretty well. So uh, there are a few errors in here um, and there's not really a lot I can do about them. Um, basically what happens here is because of all these separate different cubes have gone in there, um, they don't tend to adhere um, properly sometimes to the rest of the resin. So it's got a tendency to crack on the line. And you can see that there cracked on the line of where the cube was um, and a little bit there um, it's a little bit there as well and I can't the crack goes all the way through so I can't take it out I've tried to get out as much as I can but I just can't otherwise I just lose the whole kind of piece really um, I think it's secure enough but it's just a bit of a shame it's got a crack in it because some of these have been okay it's not all all of them just some of them but I think it looks alright, so uh, we're just going to polish this one up now and I'm going to use this Shallow Wax Cream it does a great job let's do this turned out fairly well. I like the concept of the design, not that it was my idea, um, and uh, again, whose ever idea this was, really cool. Um, and so we've got lots of different bits of resin in there, lots of different colours, and you can see um, all the different kind of like cubes, or well, not cubes, but you know, half balls, right. half circle shaped kind of cube. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Um, but you know what I mean, obviously mixed up with lots of different bits of resin in there. Yeah, I think overall, I mean it's tiny, it's a tiny piece, but I think that it's um, it's kind of turned out, turned out better than expected, I think is the word. Kind of went for this kind of round kind of shape, um, and I didn't want it to just be an ornament, so I wanted you to be able to place something in it. So although it's only small, 
but you could still place in there some flowers or something or you know maybe pens and pencils see how that looks yeah you might you might have to get some small pencils or pens in there because i think the larger ones don't really fit in there very well. It's not that deep, that's why. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring this up to Maker Central as well. Uh, most of the things that I'm making at the moment I will bring up to the show, uh, just in case anyone wants to kind of have a look at it and stuff, get a bit more of a close up view. I did have a few problems with it, as you can see where the resin um, had cracked. So basically it's, it has cracked a little bit on some areas, but only on the joins of where, you know, each kind of like cube thing they're not cubed circles but they're not circles either they're half circles um, where these half circles um, have kind of like joined to the resin so they haven't really adhered to that very well don't know why that is because you know resin's resin so I'm not really too sure but these are you know these are all really good there's no cracks in there it's just these ones on the end never mind it still looks all right and I hope you like it so there's Friday's project so there's pro so there's Friday Friday's Friday's what's Friday there's Friday's project guys um, and I hope you do enjoy, I hope you did enjoy watching the channel, the video. Oh, I'm all over the place today. Am I dreaming? What's wrong with me? So I hope you did like watching the channel, I hope you did like watching the video and uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for watch, 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 watching. I'll have to edit these bits out. Um, I'll obviously leave stills up at the end. So lastly, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone that's come over to the channel and I really appreciate everyone's support, comments and likes and everything else. Please stick around, I've got loads of funky projects on the go. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Obviously, if you're feeling extra generous, you can always share the video. That also really helps me. I hope you all have a fab weekend. I'll see you all again, maybe on Wednesday. If not, definitely on Friday. Take care. Now I know I'm dreaming.